Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Vinay. In this video, again, we are going to look into important Power F function. So, in last to last video, we have looked into text function. Then, in last video, we looked into math function. In this one, we are going to look into date and time function. So, let's start this video without further ado. And there are total going to be eleven functions in total in date and time. So, the first one is like today function. Today function is very simple. It just here you can see it returns the current date so let's see if we write like today and simply close the bracket so see today's date is 22 august 2023 so this is cool right so this is the first one now the second one is now function let us see what now returns so now returns today's date and time as well so here we are seeing the current time and the current date of today see up here if I click on next, see returns the current date and time. Okay, moving on to our next one that is date add. So let us see what date add do. Let's say if I have like date add, if I wanted to add two dates, sorry, not two dates, but if I wanted to add like let's say now today's date is this, this, and let's add one to it. Let's say. So by default, it will add just one day to it. Like today is 22 August. So it is returning 23 August. Okay. Now if I write C up here, if I write two, so here C 24, if I write three, then you will see 25. Okay. Well and good. But let us say like if I write like 60 and I wanted to add 60 minutes instead of this. Okay. So if I wanted to add like current time is like 549, the time should be six. 49 p.m. So how we can do that in the third parameter of this we can define unit as well So unit is what time unit and Then we have see up here Here, okay time unit dot days by default. It is days We can change it to hours millisecond minutes months quarter Seconds year it is up to us what we want to do add. Okay, so let me have like minutes see now the time is 6.50. Previously it was 5.49, right? So see, it added like one hour to it. Let's say if I change it to change it to like hours and maybe only one hours, I'll, I'll say. So see, again, the same thing. If I say two hours, it will be 7.53 hours. So see, date add not only add the days, but also can add hours, minutes, second, millisecond, and so on and so forth, quarters as well. Okay, now that we have seen this date add, uh, let's move on to our next one. Our next one is date diff. Let's say if we have two date. So for that, what I'll do is I'll add one date picker and I'll add one more date picker. Okay, so we have these two date picker with us. What formula we will write? We'll say date diff. And we will subtract like one date from other. So we will say date picker one dot selected date. Come on, comma date picker two dot selected date. Okay. Well and good. And it also has the third parameter for unit. Okay. So for now, let's not keep the unit. Let's just keep it like this and let's run see so i'm subtracting like one from two so if it is let's say to 31st august and this will contain like today's date so you will see like nine up here okay so when we subtract like 22 from 31 so it will give nine if both are same it will return zero okay well and well and good so we have seen date diff as well so it calculates the difference between two dates and if we have time as well so again we can define like time units by default it is days okay we can define as like hours as well but here since like these date picker contain only date so see if one day difference it will return just minus 24 this is hours same for minute and other as well like second quarters whatever you want see up here again time unit see years seconds quarter minutes millisecond days hours so it is up to us so for now let me remove this one 
and let it keep it simple so that it just written days okay days difference okay this is this is well and good let's move on to our next one that is years so as the name suggests it will extract year from the date so date diff is done let me quickly show you like years okay year sorry and I, I'll write like now function inside it so see up here 2023 so this is year same goes for like month month will return the month like 8 it will return see up here so this is month and date will return today's date okay it is date or day I think it is day day will return today's date okay see up here so 22 okay well and good like these three are pretty much basic okay see you here month will extract month from the date day will extract date from a date okay the current date today not the day like it will not tell you like today Monday Tuesday or anything now date value here see convert a text representation of date to a date value so again it is it is just like uh, it will just written like date in this format like month uh, this is today's date and the year okay so if we have like text uh, let us try to give some text inside it let us say 22 not 22 but a 5 let us try to give it like this see so it it will just convert this thing to date okay it will just convert the text to date okay well and good again the same thing we have for like uh, time value if we just wanted to extract the time from let's say from now function i only wanted to extract time okay, let me comment this one first so for time value let's say i wanted to extract time from this okay so see 555 and if i have time uh, in my text let's say 604 am so in the same way like this text will be converted to time okay very well and good moving on to our next one that is day time value again it will contain both date and time as well so the same thing date time value okay it will convert like let's take an example of this date i'll copy this thing and for time let's take like 8 54 am okay so this text will be converted to date see now this is data type is date time here you can see the data type and what i am passing i'm passing what a string okay and it converted it to what it converted it to see this is this is a text when i selected this this is what this is a text data type is text and if i select this whole thing this is like data type is date time okay now let's move on to our last function that is time zone offset so let us see that what time zone offset do this is really amazing function i'll say time zone offset okay and if i write like like this now inside it you will see some number it it may be different for you like for me it is minus 330 because i am from ist indian standard time uh, i'm ahead like five hours 30 minute ahead of like utc or you can say green which mean time so this is what this minus 330 is nothing but minus 330 minutes okay this is in minutes okay now if uh how should i show you see this up here uh see at utc currently it is like uh, let me refresh this it is 12 33 pm okay and let me open one more tab see up here and my time is like 6 0 3 pm okay so if you add like 5 hour 30 minute to it so it will be it will just come around like this or 3 in the 30 minute so it will be like this okay so same way let's say if i wanted to calculate like green which mean time 
so how i can calculate firstly let us see like this is my time right now and i wanted to calculate like green which mean time so for that i'll use this time zone offset formula let me just copy this from here i'll say date add since see this this is a negative sign right so i need to add what i need to add like now with this offset and this is what like i told you right this is minute so my unit my time unit should be what minutes right so this is it see up here as you can see up here like uh, this is like 12 34 here also we are seeing 12 34 and my time is like 6 4 so here see if i just uh, uh, what i'll do is control x control v see 6 4 so correct right so this is how you can use this time zone offset as well so these are all the functions that are related to date and time okay let me increase the size of it so today we covered like today function now function date add date diff year month date value time value date time value time zone offset depending on your project requirement you can use this formula i hope you like this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye.